Mr. and Mrs. Freeman, do you have any idea who would try to harm your son? Who? Matthew was very private about his life. There was little we knew about his so-called friends. Mom. I knew those people were dangerous. I should have stopped them from getting involved. Ellen. He was registered at the Barker School of Design. Did he ever attend? No. He, he dropped out. And when was the last time you saw Matthew? It's been months since we've seen Matthew. No, it was Crow now. He came home. He was dressed in black. He had skulls tattooed on his arm. Eyeliner on his eyes. Fangs. Should have gotten tougher on him. See? He was just a, a normal little boy. And then he fell in love with art. And he got moody and, and he started hanging out with those people. When did you hear from him last? He called a couple of days ago and he left a message. And he sounded upset. Oh, I never found out why. <sighs> Are you sure you don't recognize her? Because she could be anybody. She could be a teacher, a neighbor. No, I'm certain. We've only seen her in his art. Do you know if your son experienced anything traumatic when he was younger? What do you mean? I showed some of Matthew's drawings to one of our therapists, and he said that it looked like he might have witnessed something disturbing, seen something very violent. I, I really can't think of anything. Do you have any of Matthew's earlier drawings of this woman? No. He took it all with him when he left. You might want to check the portfolio with his application for Barker. All the work he cared about, he put in there. Thank you, Rosie. We'll look into it. Daddy! It's okay. It's okay.